And it is swarming season for the Africanized honeybee, and valley beekeepers want you to be aware of that. Channel 5's Ryan Nelson spoke with a valley man who knows the bees and their activity. Ryan? The Rio Grande Valley Beekeepers Association tells us 100% of the bees here are Africanized honeybees. These bees are known for their aggressive nature. We spoke to a man who could only stand and watch as these bees attacked a special part of his life. Mike Perez is an animal lover. Dogs, cats, and chickens roam free in his yard in harmony. One living thing is no longer welcomed here, the Africanized honeybee. We need the bees, don't get me wrong, but we don't need killer bees because <laughs> that's what they do. They'll kill you if they can. Springtime plant blooms mean more food for beehives. As the hives grow in size, they produce drones, male bees whose sole purpose is reproduction. They swarm out in search of new queens. Perez witnessed an agitated Africanized bee swarm. So I got in there, put some uh, a jacket, a beanie, and covered my face and, and put some gloves on and came out here and I tried to, to uh, you know, try to help the dogs. Perez says his dogs were attacked by a swarm of these bees almost two years ago. We finally got the dogs in inside the house, but it was too late. They died a couple of days later, and the, the female dog lost her pups. Jimmy Lawrence is a valley beekeeper and honeybee fanatic. Swarm season has beekeepers on high alert. They're warning people in the valley to steer clear of hives and swarms. As you can see, Lawrence keeps his bees far away from residential areas and farmlands near the border. The Africanized bee colonies are more defensive than other species. The, the problem with Africanized bees, and it's, it's really a, a problem not only for beekeepers but for people locally, is that they're so aggressive. Lawrence raises the Africanized beehives with less aggressive domestic bees. The result is an easier to handle colony. After about 30 days, all the Africanized bees will mostly have already died out and they'll uh, give birth to new bees in the hives. Perez has a few words of advice for someone who may want to remove a beehive. Don't try to do it yourself. If you are, get a... a a bee suit, a heavy one, because you're going to get attacked. That's for sure. Lawrence agrees. Calling a professional to remove bees from in or around your home is your best option. Bees depend on plant blooms during swarm season. In the fall months, they go back into a dormant state. In the studio, Ryan Nelson, Channel 5 News at 5.